what are you going to do with your life? And don't tell me that answer that you tell everyone. I want you to actually think about it. What are you going to do with your life? Because I want to tell you how I found my dream job. You see, ever since I was a kid, I knew exactly what I wanted to do. I wanted to write. I wanted to be a writer and help people by writing. So I worked really hard in junior high school, high school, college, and it all paid off because I got accepted into the top graduate school of my choice. And everything was going to plan. And halfway through grad school, I quit. I dropped out. I just stopped going to school. And I started my dream job. But enough about me. Let's talk about you. You can do what you love because you live in a world of magic, of sheer and utter magic all around you. So much so that if your great-great-grandma was here today, she would be freaking out because you can fly in the air, fly. You know how long it takes to get from here to China? 16 hours. You know how long that used to take? Years. Now you get a snack, a nap, and a movie, and you're in China. That's crazy. That's magic. Forget flying. Today, on the way home, you could be stuck in traffic and be talking face-to-face -face with someone in Australia. That magical device that you carry with you enables your voice to echo around the world. That's crazy. That's magic. You know everything instantly. There used to be a time, this is going to be hard to believe, but there used to be a time where if you didn't know something, you just didn't know it. You couldn't be like, ba -bum, uh, Siri, I don't know how to get home. <laughs> Or, ba -bum, uh, Siri, how many ounces are in a pound? You just didn't know it, but now you do. You know everything instantly. That's magic. And that magic, of course, is technology. You can use technology to do what you love if you are a genius. I'm just joking. <laughs> you can use technology to do what you love if you learn to create. Because you can create anything you want with technology. You could create your own apps, your own website, your own fashion collection, your own movies, your own job, your own company, your own charity. You can create that with technology because technology is magic that you can use to do what you love if you learn to create. The first thing you need to do is to decide what do you want to create. Decisions can be hard. Choosing where to go to school can be scary, but I'm not asking you, what do you want to do with the rest of your life? I'm just asking you, what do you want to create? Like, what would be fun to make in the next three months, the next 90 days? What do you want to create? And here's the good news. When you make that decision, you cannot make a wrong decision. The only wrong decision to that answer is the one you don't make. The only wrong decision is indecision. Someone once said, the biggest risk is not taking any risk at all. That was Mark. He was 17 when he created Facebook. After you've decided what you want to create, you need to learn how to create it. Now here's the thing about learning. It's one of the most exciting things you can possibly do. Don't believe me? Try this. Close your eyes. You guys too, close your eyes. I want you to think about, well, close your eyes. What's one thing you would love to know how to do? Like man, if I just knew how to, or if I could only know how to, okay, got that, oh sorry, hold, sorry, hold on, uh, eyes up, uh, sorry, <laughs> sorry. That's what you wanna know how to do? No way, I actually know someone who knows how to do that. Yeah, let's, let's talk afterwards. In fact, I'll just tell you now, their name is Google, and they know how to do that. You live in a world of magic. You can find out anything instantly. You can figure out how to learn what you want. You can figure out who to learn from, where to learn it. In fact, your voice can echo all the way around the world. So you could literally ask anyone in any country anything. You could find an expert and say, why do you like doing what you do? Why do you love doing what you do? You can ask them those questions. And what's most important is you do not stop asking questions because there's a thousand reasons that you sh cannot learn something. Like, it's too hard. I don't have enough time. My mom's not helping me. 
There are all of these excuses, but you have to keep pushing. You have to keep asking questions. Someone once said, it's not that I am so smart, but I stay with questions longer. That was Albert. He was five when he asked his dad, how does a compass work? Later, he created the theory of relativity. Decide what you want to create. Learn how to create it. And then you just need to do it. You need to create it. You need to execute it. And here's how you start. You start by designing what do you want to make? How should it make you feel? How should it make your customers feel? How should it make your audience feel? How should it make your users feel? You design that experience, and then you build it. You create it. You make it. And you get this first draft. And when you're done with this first draft, you are not done. Because your first draft is not your final draft. You need to edit it. You need to polish it. You need to revise it. You need to remake it. Because when you revise something, you discover what's magic about it. You discover that one note that makes the song, that one joke that makes the set. You can find magic in anything, but you have to work for it. After you have executed on your creation, you need to share it. Too many of your creations are dying on computer desktops, garage shelves, because you don't want to share it. But you need to share what you've made. Because when you do, here's what will happen. Best case scenario, everyone loves it. And they freak out and they're like, wait, you made that? How did, how did you make that? That's amazing, it's incredible, and you succeed. The other best case scenario is that you fail, epically, flat on your face. And they're like, wow, that's really good. You're still in school, right? <laughs> you will learn things through failing that success will never teach you. You need to share your creations, share your work with the world. Someone once said, real artists ship. Real artists share their work. That was Steve, he was 20, he created Apple. You need to learn how to create. You need to execute on that creation. And you need to do this over and over and over again. It's a cycle. It's something that you do as you move forward. Because every time you succeed, every time you fail, that's a step forward. And you're better for it. This is how I found my dream job. Because when I was a kid, I saw Toy Story. And that was insane. You guys don't know this, but there didn't used to be 3D movies. There was just 2D movies. Toy Story came, we got a whole new D. And it blew. <laughs> and it blew my mind. How could you possibly make a 3D movie? That's crazy. That's magic. So I decided I am going to make an animation. I didn't know how to make an animation, so I had to learn. I read a book. I watched, uh, read some forums, watched some videos, and I made an animation, and it was awful. I showed a few people. But then I decided, I want to make a website. I didn't know how to make a website, so I found a book that was this big, and I read through it, and I found a website called YouTube, and I watched videos, and I learned how to make a website. And I made a website. It was slightly better than the animation. Then later, I decided to take a job teaching kids how to make websites. I had no idea how to teach kids, so I had to learn. I had to watch other teachers. I had to try it out for myself. I had to plan lessons, but I did it. I executed. I taught kids. And then I decided, what if we cre could create a company that could teach kids all throughout this city how to create with technology? I had no idea how to start a company, so I had to learn. I had to talk to people who had companies. I had to watch YouTube videos. I had to find business plans, and I had to start a company. But I did it. I made a company. I executed. And then we, as a company, decided, what if we could teach kids all around the world how to create with technology? That would be pretty awesome. So we decided to make online classes. We had no idea how to make online classes. We barely had a camera. But we learned how to do it. 
We watched videos, we read, we talked to people, and we made online classes. And those online classes now, we have students in 100 countries all over the world. Those students are younger than you, but they know how to code in Java. They know how to animate movies. They know how to create their own fashion collections. And those students, for them, that's magic. Here's the thing about magic. Magic is not about doing what is impossible. Magic is about doing what is perceived to be impossible. And what people don't realize is that for hundreds of years, generations of creators have been shattering the perception of human limitation. That is why you can fly in the air. That's why your voice can echo around the world. That's why you can know anything instantly. It's not magic. People had to do that. People had to create that. People had to make it. They had to fail. They had to succeed. Some of them died, but they made it. And they look at you today and say, this is your world. These are your tools. What do you want to create? It's not always going to be easy. It's not always going to be fun because people aren't going to believe in you. People are going to doubt you. People are going to make fun of you. People are going to compete with you. People are going to sometimes beat you and you're gonna get knocked down and you're gonna get knocked down and you're going to get knocked down but you're not gonna stay down because that thing that you are creating is good and it's worth it. And is it that what you want, to live a life that's worth it? And when you're done, you can give it back to the world and make it a better place and look at the next generation of creators and say, this is your world. These are your tools. What do you want to create? Learn to create because those who create are those who create the future. Thank you.